Ochogu! Is she not you? Ta! Tochi! Tochugu! Papa! Your mother-in-law is here. Go and meet her outside. Lily? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Lily. Mm, how was market today? Uh, my daughter, the big cake seller still came to the market. And I bought some for you. Lily? Hey. <laughs> and how is the wife of my grandson today? I am light. I find. Ne Meli, Igwe came here area today to see me. Eh? So two of you are learning to be husband and wife. I like it. <laughs> ne, no day passes Igwe don't come around to see me. Hmm. Yes. Someday, marriage will come, and you will be happier than this. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have your big cake. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Now, run into the house. And eat it quietly in your room. Greet your father. Eh? I will. Eh, greet you for me, Unne. Uh, I will see him later. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, mom. Um, um. ah, did you greet her? Yes, sir. Uh, I'll go and see her. Rivet, 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 now. Come here now. <laughs> Not now. No, not now. But when now? When we get married. Ha, no, ha, that's a long time. This, this thing will spoil you. It will not spoil. It will spoil. Okay, wait to spoil now. Eh? Wait to spoil. No, I, I can't let it spoil. Wait to spoil. I can't let it spoil now. No, <laughs> baby, I can't let it spoil. Eh? No, not now. Okay, call me, Papa. Okay, Papa. Uh, call me. Uh, uh, the one I'm afraid of. I, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Call me the one I'm afraid of. Oh. I'm not afraid. A, a girl should not be afraid of, of her boy. It's only roving. I'm not afraid of you. Call me now. If not, I'll, I'll find one bush and we'll go and do it now. Now, now. Okay, wait now. Eh? Wait, wait, let me call. I'll call it. Just wait. Oh, stop loving this thing. <laughs> Don't love it <laughs> now. <laughs> Don't. Okay, wait. Eh? Wait, wait now. Eh? Wait, wait. No, not now. Just no. wait. <laughs> This is the village, you don't expect much. Well, I wasn't expecting half-naked boys playing football on a road meant for cars. Neither was I expecting the whole air to stink of bullshit all the way. Well, I have a house here. It doesn't stink of bullshit. This is our home. Well, Daddy, I'm just not liking it at all. One, two, one. Bet me I must win you. Uh -huh. You won't do anything. I'll show you. Buy a stud, buy a stud. No, you know, I told you. Look, look at the person you are afraid of. Ozo, Ozo. What? Yeah, I can. Did I can. Did I can. Did I did they have a woman in the middle? Buy a store, buy a store. Buy a store, yeah, yeah. Stop it. Where for? One, zero. What? Just push me, eh? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Okay. What is it now? What is wrong with you? How can you stand here and watch these little boys fight? Look, it's only a game, you know? The winner will go home with this. With those things there. Huh. Uh, I see. 
for the prize. And you don't even care if any of those boys lose an eye or a tooth in the fight. And you... God! Listen. Nobody has ever lost eye while doing wrestling in this village, you know? Or are you new? Jure? You didn't new. You're new. Exactly. And that also explains why a grown-up man, a full grown-up man like you, will stand and watch kids fight. Uh, don't insult me. Igwe. Ah. Igwe. I'm looking for you all over the village. Who are you talking to? Nah, Mamo Yawu. I don't know who she is. A uh, stranger. Eh? A stranger. <sighs> Madam Stellenger, who are you? Iboye? This is my father's village. And also my village. So I am not a stranger. Hey! Yeah! We're gonna fight again. Yeah! And I like Ramka. <laughs> I like this one. Hey! Okwelu. Okay. You're not liking women smoking cigarettes? No, 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 I like them car. Hey! Nah, no, no, you see style to see DJ cigarettes, the way she's holding her cigar, see style. Hey! See, see her step now. They no step here. Hey! Okwelu. You're okay. Oh. Ah, the way your friend Dego uh, uh, came and told me that I, I need to see you. No, 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 no. I thought something was wrong now. Nah. Eh? Is he right this? <laughs> Tochuku. Hmm? You not smoke cigar, Tochuku? You reckon women are smoking cigarettes now? So I call you here to show you my new style. I will be doing it for you. I don't want you to look at any other girl. Chalu. Easy ride right, is. All right, is. Great. <laughs> don't worry. When we get married like this, eh? I will be doing it for you every day, every day. <laughs> Tuchuku, why did you walk like that now? Is it not what you see in the city girl and Riker? Eh? So I doing it for you, so you seeing it in me and like me. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Mm. You, you laughing at me? See, I will not bush girl. A bush girl. Eh? That is not the way that girl does her own younger. In Kiyangwe style. You know? So, I, I, I not good. Igwe, you, you, now you're compelling us certain. Eh? Uh -huh. You are the one that wants to be like her and started to smoke cigar. Eh? That's not the way she used to hold her own cigar. Only drink girl with a car. We'll see. Or return. <laughs> <laughs> Bush girl, primary three in and who became a shian on up. So she holding the cigar better than I holding the cigar. 
Don't complete the insult now, Igwe. Complete the insult. That Igwe. girl, in short, I, I know insult you. All I'm saying is that girl, I like her way. I like her way. Simple. Oh, no, bush girl. Oh, probably trick. Hey, girl. You English, you see that girl. No, 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 no. Eh? Hey. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. I don't remember telling you where I live. Or neither did I invite you to my house. So what are you doing here? <laughs> 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 Come on. Write it. Now. Let me elucidate my point of coming here. I hear you are on holidays in this village for the first time, I think. <laughs> anyway, Igwe is my boy. Is it not Lou? It's true. Is it not Lou? It's true. Oh! Igwe is my boy. A flip bori in this village knows that. In in case you have brands. Just in case you have brands. Hey! <laughs> ne. Ne. Stay clear from him. Because hmm, he is fairly, 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 fairly much my boy. Atin! Yes. So, I don't like you. And I knew you were dropped right from the first time I saw you. <laughs> and I know that the poor home you come from they didn't teach you the meaning of courtesy or respect. Even though you have come knocking at my gates like that, without even thinking if my father was at home or not, or the consequences if he had opened the gate for you. Good on. Chalo? You hear this girl? Okay. No, you hear this girl? She has insulted us all. She don't call us poor girls. You call us poor girls. I think. In this village. Okay. No, so bad. Okay. City girl. Lynch girl. No problem. No problem at all. We, the poor girls of this village, will be watching you. Let us see you use this, this your, your, your leg to walk in around this village. It is a challenge, oh! It is a challenge! Eh? City girl! Let's go. It is a challenge! We are watching you! Whatever! Nonsense! You must really think they're stupid. Who? Oh, of course, the birds. You think they're really stupid to stay up there in their trees where you have a catapult in your hand and they wouldn't run for their life? <laughs> See, don't mind them. Yesterday I killed two. Eh? If you taste the pepper soup, eh? Hi! No mama put can challenge it. Sauce water. Hi! Water. <laughs> Well, I'm not surprised you hunt birds. I mean, with the way your girlfriend goes all around the village warning people not to talk to you. I guess we really don't talk to you much. 
Bed hunting is a very silent hobby, isn't it? Chile, Chile. Tochuku came to warn you not to talk to me again. again. Tochuku. <laughs> is that her name? I mean, what kind of girl bears Tochuku? I thought it was meant for a boy. Well, anyway, she's a village bully, and that name is very befitting of her. But please, when you see her, tell her that I don't do village boys, especially those who want beds. They don't interest me because you're not my type. Uh, 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 uh. I don't hunt beds, though. See, I'm in charge of my grandmother's pawan joints in this village. Oh, great. Uh, That's even a more lucrative job. Thank you. I'm impressed. Mm. On a second thought, why don't you hop into the car? Let me drop you where you live. Please, thank you. Go, go, let me continue. Be Come on, hop in. Please go, thank you very much. Go now. Okay, please. Yeah. Oh, my teddy bear has to sit at the back today. Let me introduce you. His name is Mr. Amos, and he's my best friend. Oh, there you go. Is this where you live? Uh -huh. This one you're making your face like this. You don't like it. Ha! Me, I like it too. This is my grandmother's hut. Uh, she raised me when my parents died. And she's not home now. No electricity? How do you live here? We have Mpanaka lamp. This is a portable VCD player. You can use it to entertain yourself. Dash. Free. Yes, free. Hey. It's a gift from me to you. Only God knows how you charge that. Ha! That one, no problem now. Uh, Tochuku father have electric. Oh, better. Oh. Um, Biko, uh, what's your name? Nerisa. Inerisa. Nerisa, It's Nerisa, not in Nerisa anything. Haven't you heard that name before? Wow. Oh, wait, didn't you read Shakespeare's Merchants of Venice in secondary school? Well, whether you understand what I'm saying or not, my father is an avid reader of Shakespeare, and my elder sister's name is Portia. Uh, um, uh, anyway, um, uh, thank you, Nerisa, for the. Uh, CD radio. It's a VCD player and it's Nerisa. Biko, <laughs> run, 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 run inside, run. Did you see that? That city girl who has seen my ball. Let's go. Because people follow you in this village if you fight to run inside. Run. Hold it up. 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 I warn you! Didn't I warn you? I warn you! You are not only a push girl, but you are also crazy! Ah. You. I will crazy for you today! I will crazy for you today! I can't do it! 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 I can't do
cleanse it for you. Cleanse it for you to do. You, you might see me. You might see me. I can't see for you. 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 burning down of Igwe's heart. And having consulted with my elders in council, my decisions are as follows. One, Nerissa and Tochuku must not only pay for the burnt heart, they must also be actively involved in rebuilding that hut. That is to say, they must come out every morning to assist the workers actively until the hut is completed. Yes. Two, for the duration of the rebuilding of that hut, Tochuku and Nerissa must live in the same room in this village. That way, we build the spirit of humility, tolerance, and friendship between our two warring daughters. Three, all these will be done under the full and close supervision of Ichie Chijoke, the village provost. Igwe, ni ba ende wono. No, no. Igwe, Igwe's councillor salute. Greetings, everybody. Um, my daughter Nerissa is a student in the city. She has a very important exam to prepare for and to sit for. Immediately we get back to the city. She cannot remain in the village rebuilding a hut while her future is jeopardized. Let me pay fully for the erection of a two-room blockhouse for Igwe and the grandmother while I return with my daughter to the city. Igwe, Igwe, please. I like my hut. It is the only home I know. I don't want blockhouse. We only need a temporary place to lay our heads while the repair is going on. That will be done. But, Igwe, your daughter must undergo her punishment as decided by the elders of her village. Else, we disown her as our daughter. And if we do so, No one from this village will come when she gets married. She will remain in the big city and do township marriage 
And you know what that means? Her husband will be at liberty to kick her around like football. <laughs> Even her children will not be allowed to visit their maternal home. And you, Bart, you can never raise your voice again anywhere among the elders because you are the father of a daughter that has no roots. A bird of the air. <coughs> My people, please, pardon me. Pardon me. My daughter must undergo her, her punishment. You see, no tree, no matter how big, no matter how many branches it has, will ever be called a forest. It needs other trees to join to it before it will be included in the name forest. We've had all that advice here, I'm sure. Add this to what I've given you earlier. Thank you, Daddy. Should be more than enough to keep you even for a month. Eh, one more thing. That girl, Dochuku, I understand the both of you may live together while the rebuilding of the hut goes on. Don't get in her way so she does not get into her own way. Do you understand me? Yes, Daddy. That's good. Be wise. It's now that you're coming to work, Atin. It's now you're coming to work. I'm talking to you. This is when you're coming to work. Leave her alone. I will handle it. Leave it. No, you're handling huh? it now. Handling it. I will handle it. Handling it now, now. I will. What is your stress? My stress. My stress. Let me tell you my stress. My stress is that you're spending every day in the house. This your this your face to see, so, selection all the young young men in this village, and then you come here, we're working like prostitutes. Do you have a complex or something, eh? or you're just afraid that your boyfriend likes me more? Eh? Look, trust me. If I as much as smile at him, you would become a baboon before his eyes. Balum balo. Baboon, nothing. Stop, stop, baboon. Stop, 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 stop. What's wrong? Before I finish, me and I come back this thing. No, on my own. I don't talk my own. No, no, no. Stop. Hey! Stop! Hey! Stop! He can't What is me? Stop! You want to kill somebody? Hey! Hey! Stop that! Hey! Stop! Stop that rubbish! I will report you to Igwe. Igwe will share this thing. Igwe will share it. If you can't live together, that yeah, you can't work together, then we must find a new punishment for all of you. Come on, go and walk. Go and walk. Go and walk, Melissa. Go and walk. Go and walk. Nonsense. Iba, Iba, Iba. Go and walk. Iba. Iba. Oh yeah, liba, liba, you calling liba, something? Liba. Come with your hand now. Liba, liba, you calling stick? I calling my hand. Yeah. I calling my I hand. I calling my hand. You calling Don't umbrella? You 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 you. you no, have to go.
What is it? Are you not sweeping again? I'm tired. I just stopped to catch my breath. I think it is too early to get tired though. Yes, because you are still going to sweep five other arenas in this village. Though. And after that, I will take you to the stream to fetch water four times for four widows. It's not my fault. I do, it's not my making. In fact, it is... It is your own punishment for fighting again. You know that. Yes? Tochuku has been deployed to another person's farm to go and walk there from sun up to sundown. And that's her own punishment. So... Can you just do me one little favor? Yes. I just need you to keep quiet for just a moment. Thank you. Has she no shame? Hey. She's showing you everything. <laughs> and to crown everything, she goes around making trouble with Tochuku, my chosen daughter-in-law. Eh? No, Mary. Listen, if the person that is showing is not ashamed of showing, then the person that is looking will also not be ashamed of looking. Hey! Yeah. New world. Oh, My daughter, come, let me advise you before it is too late. My grandson, Igwe, will marry to Ochuku. Have you heard it? So remove your evil eyes from his body. Or else, I will curse you with this, my old mouth. What is it? Anyway. Is that a cigarette I see? Or is it a joke? Mba, uh, no. Hmm? Tell me, where are you smoking? Just now, just now. Uh -uh. Huh? You weren't smoking. I'm not smoking, no. What were you doing then? I'm not smoking. If I bring your Bible, you will swear. Will you? If I bring your Bible, you see, you're a liar. In fact, you have to bribe me. If you don't bribe me, I will tell Igwe, Igwe's grandmother, that her teacher daughter-in-law smokes cigar. No, I, I, I'm not smoking. I, I, I just practicing. Yeah. No, I'm not practicing. I, I pray with it. Yeah. I, I'm not talking to anybody. Yeah, so I just practice. I just uh, 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 pray with it. Don't yeah. you? Mm. You will bribe me with a <laughs> with a kiss. <laughs> kiss. Uh huh. No, no, you know. Huh? You won't. Then, then just be, be be prepared because you're already in trouble. If I don't make you lose that fine boy, you will. Mm, bet me. Don't worry. No, I bet. no, 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 Okay. <laughs> One kissing. <laughs> now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Electric. <laughs> more. More. 
Papa, non, 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 Why? Kiss me another one now. Eh? See, if you kiss me another one, it means you, you don't have to go back to that work. I will get the city girl to finish all your punishment for you. Eh? Yes, now. Now, yeah, how? Ah, I will simply tell her that it is added punishment for me, that's all. It's very, very good. You see, punish her. Punish that city girl. I don't like her at all. Punish her very well. I will do anything. I will kill her. But I require payment too. Payment. Now, and you see, this is the only opportunity I have to kiss a fine young girl. Okay, now you go and polish the city girl first. Mm -hmm. Polish her. When you finish polishing the city girl now, I'm giving you another kissing. Okay, but this time, oh, eh, you, you, it's only kissing. You, you, you know, let me show. For example, for example. You me like this. Now, you, now you polish the city girl. Then we'll do the kissing. I, 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 I'm going to my house. I'm going to my house. Polish her first. Don't you? Watch, eh? I will do it. Staying at me. Don't you have something better to do with your life? Look, I know you haven't seen much of the television, but I am not one. Eh, 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 Nani, Nani, you worrying how? Worrying this, this, this girl, oh, now she has starting to open this uh, dirty mouth again, oh, worrying how? Shut up, both of you. The Igwe insisted that two of you will live in this room together so that you can learn tolerance. And that is what I'm here to ensure that you learn. I hope I'm clear on that. No more noise. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm packing my things. It's either I come from my father's village home or I face any ostracism. Anything the eagle wants to give to me, I'm, I'm ready to do it. But I'm not going to stay here with this reptile. Hey, let me tell you something, Nelisa. It is good you know that I am a reptile. I am even a crocodile. Because you are nothing but a flattened fish that is swimming in, in, in the liver. And I will swallow you up. What, what are you thinking you are? Eh? What are you thinking you are? <laughs> I am forced to reconsider my ruling on that issue. Henceforth, let them live separately so that they don't start a fight in the middle of the night and tear at each other's throat. And we have corpses in our hands. Mm. But when the rebuilding of the burnt Igwe's hut begins, mm. they must be made to work together. That way, we build the spirit of cooperation between our two daughters. Igwe, Igwe. Thank you. Hey, come here. What do you think you're doing? Is that the, the way to greet Igwe? Greet him well. So you teach me how. Say, Igwe. Igwe. That is nothing.
Shakespeare's 29th sonnet. I recite. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I, all alone, bewept my outcast state and travel deaf heaven with my bootless cries and I look upon myself and curse my fate wishing me like to know one more rich in hope Aha! It's them I catch you today So, you're a native doctor too, eh? You followed me See, which one are you? Which one are you, Seth? Are you a witch or native doctor? No, 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 no. Why would you leave your house and come to this bush and be talking shibri, 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 shibri only to yourself? Talking with uh, uh, all the leaves here, talking with trees, talk, talking with spirits in the skies. Why? Why? Well, I'm someone who misses her school so much. Marooned in this village while my education passes me by. I came here to be in my school, in spirit. I'm a first year student of English literature in the city. Ah, huh. poor you. I'm sure you don't even know a thing of what I'm saying. Okay, well, at least you remember I told you my father is a lover of Shakespeare and his sublime art. Well, I was just reciting Shakespeare's 29th sonnet. It's a poem that talks about outcast, misfortunes and lamentation, about how something you love so much with so much passion can take you away from sorrow. Well, in this case, I'm talking about my education. I love it so much and he has taken me out of sorrow. God, poor thing. You still don't understand what I'm saying. But you should go to school. Seriously. Teach me. Teach you what? Uh, teach me, teach me Shake, Shake, Shakespeare. 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 Okay. First of all, a sonnet is a poem of fourteen lines, and the Shakespearean sonnet has a rhyme scheme of A B, A B, C D, C D. E F E F G G. That is a rhyming couplet at the end. Do you understand that? To fear. One more tall, naked woman. So one day. Somebody will marry this one and put in the house. Here! Oh! Oh, what the heck? Hmm! Be an iris, be an iris. Does this thing not bother you? Eh? Does what not bother me? And the way people talk about you in this village. The way you dress. The way you smoke cigar. You know this pancake you rub on your face now and this thing you rub on your mouth. Does, does it not bother you? No. It does not bother me at all. I mean, what do these people know about me? The real me? Do they know my fears? My pains? My sorrows? My joys? My uncertainties? My laughter? What do they really know about me? They only judge me from what they see outside. See, let me tell you. People all over this world will always judge you from what they see outside though. But that is wrong. You have to first come close to people. <laughs> well, do I blame them? Not all minds are deep and elevated. Doesn't 
Well, what is that? What's what? Uh, eleve elevated. Elevated. <laughs> well, what is that? <laughs> it means free thinking, free spirited, and free of dogmas. Sublime. Ibiakwa. Big English. See, that one you just said now, um, sub sublime. Uh -huh. It's worse than that elevate. elevated. Uh, it's worse than it. Quintessential. Ha. Vintage. Something in its purest form. Unadulterated. What is it? You are giving me a dick. <laughs> Ah, do you have um, bread spread and a bottle of water? No, I don't have. No? Oh, what is that? Is that not bread spread? I mean butter. Butter? Is bread spread? Anna, your bread spread, not bread spread, okay? It's anything you can spread on bread to eat. Yes, even mangarin itself. <laughs> like anything? Yes. You're a very smart person and you learn fast, you know that? Thank you, thank you. So, um, what do you want? I want to buy something for you. Ah, again? Ah, no, ah, you have already given me VVD player. <laughs> VCD player, not VVD. And yes, I gave that to you, but this is different. I want to buy something for you from the shop. Ah, yes. Okay, uh, let him come first. Anayo? Yes? Eh, the Anayo, No, I don't have chocomido. Ah, yes. I'm gonna give me sweets. How many sweets? Six. Six. Okay, let me get it. Is that all you want? That's all. <laughs> okay. Igwe! Hmm. What are you doing? What do you mean? Hmm. You are cheating on my friend, don't you? That is what I mean. Hey, yeah. <laughs> cheating. Like this. Here, in this shop. How? And you. I know you're now happy. Igwe now follows you around. Bodyguide. Anna, yo. Please hurry up, let me get home. I'm coming. I don't need to remind the both of you that Tochuku here about this. Nonsense. How do you cope with this rasp, people? See, don't mind this one, no. She has been in primary four for six years. Mama no kunde four. Igwe, hmm? I know you. I know you, Lily, Lily, down into your soul. Nobody can ever know you like me, and nobody can ever, ever love you like me. Nelisa is a stranger. She is a stranger. Very, very soon now, she will go back to the city where she come from. She is not Leo. Me and you are Leo. Hmm. See, nothing. Don't you go nothing? No. She's just a nice person, that's all. Nothing. Igwe, I'm not nice to you. Igwe, I'm not nice to you too. When your business money finish, who's stealing my father money giving to you to start all the business of flesh? You now. You have been nice. Nothing. It's just, you know, anytime I'm with her, I learn, you know, new, new things. You know, that's why I, I always have this feeling to be with her sometimes. Nothing. Igwe. Your house that we destroy is not difficult to rebuild. When the house is built finished, what do you think Nelisa will do? Eh, she will go back to the city now to her education. With you or without you? Answer. Igwe, I will leave you to answer that question. In your life, some things are permanent and some things are temporary. Choose your side, Igwe. Choose your side now and be wise.
Hello? Hello, is anybody in? Uncle Chijoke? Neri Neri. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Um, I was wondering if you forgot that you asked me to come when you went out. No, 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 no. I was busy fixing something inside the house. Okay. Um, you know, my children have all gone to school and my wife has also gone to the market. Come inside now. I see. So what does the Igwe want this time? Well, Some uh, new punishment for me? Um, not the Igwe. Actually, the Igwe has neither sent any new message or asked me to increase your punishment. Nothing. See here. It's Neri. It is me that has something to tell you. Thank God. Come inside. Neri, Neri. <laughs> Neri, Neri. So you beg me to transfer all her punishment to you in exchange for her body. And I say to myself, how can I do this thing at this my age and caliber? Wait, uncle. Are you telling me that Tochuku offered you her body? Exactly. Exactly. And all I need to do is to transfer all that punishment over to you. Ah. Then she's all mine. What did you tell her? Tell her? <laughs> I told her nothing. Actually, <clears throat> it's you I like. Honestly. I like women with the color of fire. Like you. <laughs> Honestly. You see, I'm telling you all these things because I like you. And I've told you all her secret plans. All that remains is for me and you to be on the same side. And I'll make everything easy. I'll do that. Honestly. Hey. Yeah. Stop that. Stop it. What is it? It's me and you all alone in this house. You think I'm weak and uh, old? Look, I'm very, very, very strong. Fire like you. Huh? Stop it, I said. Stop it this minute. Is my hand rough? It's fun work. Mary, it's only me and your plea. Stop it. Will you stop, stop. I, will you stop it? Stop I love it. it. Are you beating me? Are you beating me? If you try this nonsense again, I'm going to shout. Eh? If you shout, I shout. Please leave me alone. Help! Help! Help you! are crazy but I never knew that their fantasies can take them to somebody as old as me no oh. hey, look at that to see her I'm not even surprised oh. look at that who will be surprised nobody is surprised who does not see her go about this village half naked on your pion 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 looking for our husbands and our sons to devour hey 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 Chino I didn't do anything. The old man lied. Which old man lied? Which old man lied? 
See, there were witnesses everywhere. They said you came out of his house with plenty shame on your face. And you don't believe me? What were you doing in his house? Wham. I don't care what everybody believes. What I care is what you believe. You are my friend. So who do you believe? That's a, it, it will not disgrace. You are you are a disgrace in short. Absolute. <sighs> you are a bad egg in this village. And if left for long and nothing is done, you will contaminate the good girls we have here. The problem is, I don't know what to do with you. Igwe, let us suffer punishment as quickly as possible and leave this village for us. Thank you. No. Uh oh. Let her leave immediately. Punishment or no punishment. God will punish her. Elders, can I at least say something? No. Remain silent and listen attentively for our decision. For the remaining period you stay in this village, you are hereby banned from entering anybody's compound. Or visit anybody. Your contact with people, as much as possible, shall be reduced to the barest minimum. Your movement shall be from your father's house to the work site and back to your father's house. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Igwe, you judge and ostracize me for doing nothing. How can you? Base your judgment on just one man's testimony. Did you go to his house when there was nobody there? Yes, I did. But not to do what I was accused of. I did not go there to seduce him. Who is the eyewitness? Nobody. Only my God. <laughs> Igwe, even the devil calls God. Elders. Sometimes all evidence points to a conclusion and everything seems like the truth based on all facts but it is not the truth. Sometimes all evidence points to a conclusion based on all facts but it is not the truth. The only truth is that we have taken decision to semi ostracize you. Yes. It is not full ostracism. If I want to ostracize you fully, I know how to say it. You may go for now. And thank your God that I did not pronounce a harsher punishment on you. Igwe, you act as if you were God. But you're not. And it makes me smile. Because you can never be him. God does not have the nature of man. And he does not pass judgment just like we do. At my husband, just be looking at where you're going straight. Look, I'm mad. Oh, I'm talking. Are you still going? Eh? I'm talking. Are you still going? Okay? Oh, you think he's your type? Eh? Let me tell you, he loves only me, and he can never look at you for just for a moment. Be 
him. Yeah, can now. The man eater has gone. Oh, no, go. Oh, no, go. Can now. That they can challenge me in this village. <laughs> Even can sleeping with old men. <laughs> Wait, you don't know that uh, uh, old men don't keep secrets. That is why the man's claiming, claiming, claiming. She is stunned. <laughs> hey, hey, the man embarrassing you. I'm feeling sorry for you like this. <laughs> sorry, oh. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Chalu, Nelisa, you, you're not calling a uh, Don Love Monkey today. <laughs> He's traveling to Oregos. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wearing glasses. I wear you know. You want? Hey, city girl, let me give you my glasses. <laughs> Nonsense. I will show you in this village. It's lucky that you're running back to Oregos. So. You will run back to Lagos. Don't worry. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, baby. What? Don't you go? Ah, Igwe. Ah. Igwe, yeah, Igwe. Okay. Ah, you bring water for me? Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> hey, <whoa. laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, Nay, I left him in the shed there with my boy. No problem. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Enemy right under your feet where she remains trampled. Uh, do I go and book a room secretly in the one hotel in the neighboring town? Chinikeme. Or would you prefer to come to my house when uh, nobody's around? Alume. Yeah. Pay you for what, Nanai? Ah, uh, pay you for what? But you promised to take care of me if I gave all, all your punishment to the other girl. You promised. And I did more than that. I framed her up. So are you not happy that your enemy has been disgraced? What is all this? Mba. Eh? Mba. No, I, I, I cannot do it though. Eh? I cannot beat Lady Igwe. Hey. Abraham Kita, no, Abraham Kita. I'm not a dog. Uh -huh. so, so, sleeping with me makes you a dog, eh? In other words, I'm a dog. I've come to return this to you. I don't need it anymore. Bye bye. Alright. I promise not to tell anybody. Now tell me. What's bothering you? I'm making you look moody like this. Try. Hmm. Chinake. <laughs> Wants to sleep with me. What? It led me to flame me up the same way flame up Nelisa. Framed? You mean Nelisa was framed up? My sister, I shook him really, really much when he telling me that. I actually thinking that uh, the city girl went to his house to force him. I not know that he flaming up the girl. Hey. Oh. See, see, see. Why don't we get Nelisa on our side and deal with him? To fear, Kwa. 
me and Melissa, friends. Mm -hmm. Both of you have a common enemy now. It will be good to unite. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. I will only cooperate with you on one condition. Which is? That the truth be told. So that Igwe would know that I'm not the loose girl that he was made to believe I am. <laughs> hey, Chai. Chai, Chai. Nelisa, Nelisa. You must lily lily rove this, my boy. You. Eh? You rove him. That is why you want the truth to be known. If you don't rove him, you will not want the truth to be known. Is it not blue? It's true. Oh, I tell you that that is rove. It's not about love or anything. He is my friend. The only friend I made since I stepped my foot into this village. I do not want to leave the village and leave him with the terrible impression he has about me. No. But that is my boy. He is Lily Lily my boy. But okay. Let us run. Let us run. That's it. Okay. Come in. Come in. So I left the gate open so that you do not attract the attention of passerbys. Really? It's really surprising. Ne? The way your attitude to me towards me changed. Your feelings towards me also changed. And you came to look for me on that lonely road yesterday and invited me to come and eat your bearded meat. <laughs> It's, it's a surprise. It's like a dream. You know, the other day at your house when you tried to force yourself on me, you awakened something in me. Really? Yeah. Something so strong. So pure. <laughs> but even if you lied against me in the Igwe's palace, it's all right. It didn't stop me from loving you at all. No, no, no. Nerissa, I'm very, very sorry for all that trouble I caused you, please. Okay. It's not time for apologies right now. It's time for me to see the strong old man in you. Yeah? <laughs> Take off your clothes. Eh? Take off your clothes, baby. You call me baby? <laughs> you calling me baby? Look, it's like, it's musical. <laughs> so, he said I should take off. Mm -hmm. For action? Yes. For real? Very, very, very. Wait, do you want to go? Hey, today, today is fire. Fire, 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 fire. No. Oh, yes, yes, but true. Hi. You will taste that in me today. Honestly, you are wonderful. Hey! Come on, don't be in a hurry. What is it now? Oh, God. Just see what you're gonna eat. Flash. I'm going to start with your back. Turn around so I can massage your back first. Massage? Yeah. Ew. Neri, neri, yo! Neri, neri, yo! What's happening? Ije, what are you doing here? My eyes have seen my neck. And the man will know them. Did you get We had a red Nerissa, you are free to go back to your studies and your family in the big city. May the gods and the ancestors bless you. Thank you very much, Igwe. Tochuku. Igwe. You shall no longer walk at the building site. Igwe, thank you very much. 
You church is okay. You shall not only single-handedly complete that building site. You must as well finance it. In addition to that, you must present the following items to the elders. Two cows, five goats, two hundred cola nuts, and two cockerels. Failure to do that within 14 market days, we shall ostracize you. For a minimum of 10 years. Yes. I'm sorry, I, I did not uh, believe you. I, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. Um, that gift you gave me, um, the V V C D. Uh -huh, v V V C D. I. I, I I I want it back. Please. Come with me. Come with me to the city. Do you know the craziest thing that happened to me in this village? Ichiichijuke. Wrong. You. I fell in love with a dumb, uneducated village boy. A typical native son. Tell me, Igwe. Why have you come here today? Um, because... Igwe! 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 We are this side. Igwe! Let us leave this place now. Melissa, bye bye. Let's leave. Igwe, come with me. My father will put you in school. It's not too late. Hmm. Igwe, I telling you this thing. I telling you this thing wrong, wrong time ago, but you don't hear now, see? I telling you that this Melissa will leave us someday. Now, is she not leaving? She is leaving now, I telling you. If she really, really love you like that, let her remain in this village. But no, she want to go into the city. She want to work in in big bank. Me and you are village people. Oh. Let us remain in this village. We have a little love. We are real people. Eh? And by the grace of God, leave malice in future. What is it again? Eh? You liking the, the, the lead lipstick that she's loving. I loving lead lipstick. You liking the pancake? I love in pancake. You liking a, a cigarette? I, I I smoke in cigar. Eh? You you if you wanting me to or you go like this? I I I bridge. I go to the market. I buy a um, top gel. I I bridge. I be like this. You liking download monkey? You give me money. I buy download monkey and carry for you. What is the difference? I can know you bo. Please let us leave this place now. Go to your city now, city girl. Melissa, go and leave, leave, leave us alone now. Let us go. Every time, Melissa, 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 Melissa. Melissa, go to the city and leave us alone. This time. Okay. Melissa, go to the city. Leave my husband alone.
fries and let's get ice cream. You don't like ice cream anymore? Casey, if you want to go and buy ice cream, go and get it. I stop making an issue out of this. Must I give you a written before you do anything in your life? I'm sorry if I upset you, okay? But yeah, can you come along? No, Casey, I'd rather be in the car with my sister. Okay, just go. I'll be waiting, okay? Okay, I won't be long. Nerissa, what was that for? It was what? You've been acting so strange ever since you returned from the village, snapping at your boyfriend. You practically beat his head off all because he's offering to buy you ice cream. What has he done to you? That was really bad. Ah. There's a boy in the village. His name is Igwe. I knew it. I knew there had to be a boy somewhere. Please just let me finish. Portia, he doesn't have the finesse of Casey. Neither does he have his flash or dash. He's what you would call a village boy, a typical native son. No education beyond primary six. No modern society behavioral etiquette is. And what has this bush boy got to do with you? He comes to the village to wash your clothes. Fine and good. He runs errand for you. But, Nerissa, why are you telling me about him now? I don't know. Somehow I just can't get him off my mind. Eh. Hey. So that's why I'd be snapping at Casey up and down, isn't it? Maybe. It's difficult for a woman to be thinking of two men at the same time. But Larissa, what happens to Casey? When in disgrace and fortune and men I, I alone beweep my outcast, outcast, outcast state, state, uh -huh. Shakespeare 29 sonnet. Um, Elevated. Elevated is pure, pure, pure. Elevated is pure mind. No. Elevated, purest. Chimikimi. Are you crazy? Uh, Why are you mumbling to yourself? No, I'm just remembering everything you know. Nerys used to teach me. You know things she used to say when she was here. Igwe. Hmm? Igwe, Nerissa is in the city. Oh. She is in the city where, where she does where she not remember you at all. But Igwe, me, I will always remember you. And I will love you forever. Huh? Oh, baby, me. Baby, me, sweetie. Me. I shall you. Your customers are not angry. Oh, why now? Everybody in this village knows we are getting married soon. Tulu. Uh -huh. uh, uh, very soon, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, my grandmother said that our introduction rites will start next week. You know, she wants us to give her grandchildren before she dies. Eh? Uh -huh. God forbid, don't say that. She will not die. I keep telling her, but she said old people will die first before young people. She's old. Eh, that one is true, but she will not die. Okay, it's alright. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of marriage and children, uh, how many do you want to have? How many children? Uh -huh. eh? 
Eh, Asa. Yes, Asa. Seven. Eh, seven. This no, woman. not plenty. Okay, we'll have um, ten. Ah! Mbao. Ha! These are rappers. Mm. These are Hollandis. Intoreka. And judges. They will be given to the woman others at your marriage introduction right next week. These are the drinks, hot drinks. They are for Tochuku's father mm. and the men. And these are the cola nuts. As you can see, I'm buying things gradually. Everything will be complete before the introduction right takes place in four market days. Palm wine will be bought on the morning of that day. My son, be happy. Mama, I am happy. <laughs> happy. Because very soon you will have a woman of your own to enjoy. Someone who will cook your meal and take care of you when I'm gone. Mama. <laughs> Mama, thank you so much. In fact, I can't wait to get married. I am not going anywhere. Why? Because I am tired. Casey, this relationship is freaking me out. We, we do nothing but clubbing, spending money unnecessarily, sex. God, it's not adding any value to my life anymore, okay? Look, the kind of love I want is some old-fashioned love, and you cannot give that to me. So just leave me alone. It is over. Baby, please, don't walk out on me, please. What is that for? Kiss, what is wrong? You can't talk to me. You can't just confide in me. What's the problem? Kiss, you just told me that you said it's over between the both of you. And don't I have the right to? Yeah, you say you have the right to, but you don't have the right to hurt other people's feelings or emotions. Who told you Casey he has emotions? Do you know him better than I do? Do you think he loves me? Look, he's only showing me off because he says I'm beautiful. You can confirm that from Biola, his ex-girlfriend. Whoever did that show in the village has done a good job. Meaning? Meaning you're no longer your old self. Your trip to the village has totally changed you. Look, Portia. I went to the village hating it. But right now, all I want is just to go back there. Even if it's just for a weekend. This has to do with that bush boy called Igwe. Look, Portia, please leave Igwe out of this. I beg you. Please. Let me show you. know, Dad won't be happy if he returns and finds out that you've gone back to the village. Dad is not my God. He does not control my life. He is only my father. My life is my own. I'm really happy about this. Thank you for the gola nuts. Um, we have come to remind you that we are coming for the marriage introduction rites of Tochuku and Igwe tomorrow, being a Kematote. <laughs> ah, our people say an issue that has been agreed upon earlier does not require much a discussion except the nodding of head in acceptance. Okay, mm -hmm. Uh, I've heard what you said, and uh, we are prepared. I've even informed my kinsmen about that. We are waiting for you coming tomorrow. <laughs> um, let me seek the opinion of my daughter. Tochuku, Tochi, my daughter. Yes, Papa. Come on. Uh, come on, Sita. Uh. 
Um, and Mary, I just said they are coming tomorrow to perform the traditional marriage rite between you and Iwe. I know you love you where your husband to be, but um, let me ask: Do you ask them to come, or do they? Ah. <laughs> Let them come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go, uh, I know you're happy. I'm very, very happy. Ah, what are we talking again? Look at what I'm doing. Oh, God, you look at your story. I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to My name is Igwe. I'm from Etiti village. I want to see Thompson, taxi driver that goes to the city. Uh, good evening, sir. Yes, what do you want this night? Uh, sir, I want to go to the city. Uh, but please, uh, can I sleep here so that I can go very, very early tomorrow? Why the hurry? Uh, I, I want to meet Neris uh, in the morning uh, in her house before she goes out. Uh, you, you know Neris now? That uh, fine girl that you took to the city the other time. You know her house? Of course I do. I took her home. Yeah. But uh, is she expecting you? Uh, 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 uh. You you were there now when she said I should follow her to the city. Now I'm ready. You will pay me five thousand naira. Huh? Yes, five thousand naira. That's what I charge on such trips. You can sleep in my house here for free. Five thousand. Uh, okay, okay. I I I I will pay. Okay. Come in. down like that. It's village people. I don't want anybody to see me. They gossip too much in this village. Okay. Boys looking at. I'm, to I'm talking to you. What are you staring at? Come, both of you. Come, 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 come. 
Here. Buy biscuits for yourselves. But before you do that, help me go to Igwe's house. Tell him that I am back in the village. That I want to see him. It's urgent. Okay? Yes, aunt. Okay. Come, 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 come. Don't you know that when a senior person or an elder gives you something, you should say thank you, auntie, or thank you, sir, or thank you, brother. Thank you, auntie. Thank you, auntie. Thank you that I gave you the money or thank you that I'm just teaching you now. Yes, auntie. auntie oh, you. whatever. Just go. Be fast, okay? to ease himself in the bush or check his traps, yes. Traps? On his wedding day? Oh my God. Igwe! Oh. Ne, we are looking for Igwe. Can't you see I'm looking for him? Is there a home? Igwe! Let's go and search for him. Igwe! Igwe! Igwe, where are you? Toto, baby. Mm. So today is the day? Yes, so. I hope there's enough to eat and drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Wait! Very, very soon, my husband and him people will he come. Yeah. And then you will see that we are so prepared. I can't wait to. <laughs> so finally, you and Igwe will become husband and wife very soon. Have you? Hey. Despite all Nelisa nearly caught. Nebuko, how that thing? Who is Nelisa? Don't mention that name here again, no. Oh, please. Let me hear a word. Nelisa is not leading me at all. Andura! See this girl. Andura! 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 Andura, he finds me. What is that? He finds me. Missing? What are you saying? Wow! Uh, some of his clothes are missing too. How? He finds me. She just said he took all his clothes and vanished from the house. Look at me. What happened? They won't succeed. No. They will not succeed. 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 They from its village, isn't it? Ah, oh yes, yes. Mm, okay, and you're here to see Nerissa, not so. Uh, yes. Okay, you're welcome. Hmm? Ah, thank you. You're welcome. Let me come bring her for you. Just hold on, eh? I'm coming. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you for calling her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please keep in company. Eh? I'm coming. Thank you. Now, bros, I don't think Auntie Nerissa is at home. She left very early in the morning. Ah, no, no. Her sister will not lie to me now. Let her check for her first. Eh? Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Yes, sir, sir, sir. Idiots. If I see this boy here again, eh, I will deal with you. My bro, I don't want to talk. Waka, waka, don't tell you now. Just find your way. No, sir, uh, uh, sir, um, please. Uh, I, I, I need small money, but back to my village. Uh, um, you see, I, I, I finished my money on, on the taxi I, I had to the city here. 
Uh, so I need uh, um, um, the money back. Uh, five five thousand naira only, sir. See me see trouble. Is that my business? Will it disappear from my face? You thief. That's why people go about and start collecting money from people in the city. Ah uh, no no. I'll move. Not try me on. God help me. I don't wanna be lost. No. Oh. I don't leave you anymore. I just walked out the door. Whoa, whoa. I'm different. I'm changing now. I'm searching for victories that make me a man. Searching for things that keep me alive. Whoa, whoa. In a merry good morning. Tochiko, how are you? Mm, hold your greeting. So it is true, you are back in this village. When I heard it, I did not believe it. You are back. And evil has started again in this village. Evil? What evil? My boy, Igwe, is missing. We are searching for him everywhere in this village since yesterday. Is it not wonderful to you that the same yesterday you coming back, the same yesterday he vanishing? Jesus Christ, missing? Where could he be? Nobody knows. But everything that everybody knows is that my boy, my boy Igwe is missing. And you are number one prime suspect. And I thinking that you hiding him in this place. Yes. You went to the city to renew your charm. Exactly. And now you have taken him body and soul. God, you are there. I am shocked and highly worried at what both of you are saying. There is nothing in this house. Eh. Mgwano, we are searching this house today. We are searching this house, but if you refuse, eh, I will wait here while they will call in all the elders of this village. Because as I look at you, you will dodge him out of this house if you go. I am waiting here. So, we search in the house or we don't search in the house. All right, fine. Come and search the house. Mbano, let's go. We search in the house today. Come now. Come now. She just crying, crying old crocodile tears. She crying crocodile tears. I suspecting how. I suspecting that girl. She she hiding him another place. Yes, you go is with her. She's hiding him somewhere. But sooner or later, we must know the place. One thing is for sure. You go must marry you. He must marry me. Oh. He must marry. You. He must marry me. Ah, must marry me. Poshia, he go is missing. Everybody is looking for him. Nobody knows where he is. God, I'm so worried. Missing? How can he be missing? When he came here yesterday, he came to the house. Pusha, and you did not even call me. Okay, where is he now? The village boy is in the city. I saw him flesh and blood. His light skin a bit plump. Anyway, good looking, but still a village boy. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly, that, that's his description. Um, are, you, are you sure of what you're saying? Well, I sent him away with a stain, warning him never to show his face at our gates. I couldn't just stand the sight of him. You did what? I sent him away, of course. Pusha, you did what? Oh my God. Nerissa, look. I am your elder sister. I did what I thought was the best for you. And what I still think is the best for you. Do you know what? I'm coming to the city first thing tomorrow morning, okay? Jesus Christ, Pusha! You must really be very hungry. When was the last time you had something to eat? Thank you. 
All the people I asked to help me, no one agreed now. You're, you're the only person that can agree to buy me food. Mm? Thank you. It's a pity. Well, you must hurry up with the food so that I can pay and get back to the office. My lunch break is over. Um, Auntie, what about, uh, 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 you know, the, the money I asked you for, the money when I begged you for, Auntie? Uh, um, just give me small inside it, 3,000 naira. I'll still manage. I don't have that kind of money to give out. My salary has not been paid. Well, the only thing I can do for you is to let you stay in my house until they pay us in a week's time. If truly you have nowhere else to go like you said, then you can help out with one or two household works like wash my clothes, clean the house, or anything. So when I'm paid, I'll give you 3,000 Naira. At least I will not have paid you for the work you did. I'm just a secondary school teacher. As you know, we teachers earn little. And I hate to waste money. I, I didn't come to the city to do boy boy, but what can I do? I don't have a choice. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. You must not accept it if you don't want it. But that's the best I can do. So now you won't talk to me all because of a mere village boy. Pusha, I wouldn't do this to you. If someone walked into this house to look for you, I wouldn't be rude. No, especially when you tell me that you love that person. But I wasn't protecting you. Protecting me from what? Pusha, protecting me against what? Let's be civil here. Okay, yes, let's be civil. Okay, he walked into this house and you poured him water. Now he's gone, nobody knows where he is. Just tell me where he is and I'll leave you alone. Tell me. get a taxi on time. We have to walk to the house. It's less than 10 minutes walk. Okay? Okay. You know what? Let's walk. Uh, and auntie, uh, auntie, please, let's just wait small. <laughs> auntie, these bags are heavy. They are heavy. Please, let's wait small. Taxi will come. Let's just walk. Uh, At least we can save the taxi money. I'll use it to buy a bottle of cold drink when we get home. Okay? Let's go. That make me a man. I'm searching for things that keep me alive. Whoa, whoa. I don't come here anymore. As I rise and fall and rise again.
Um, when we had almost given up hope as to his whereabout, news flew into this taxi driver's ear that he was being looked for and that it was breaking his grandmother's heart. So he came to us and told us he brought Igwe right here in your compound over three weeks now. Please, where is the young man? Because I'm hardly in town, I cannot answer you. I'll direct my daughters to answer the question. Portia. Yes, Daddy. Nerissa. Daddy. Did anybody like that come here? As by the time they are talking about, I was in the village. You can ask all of them. They all saw me in the village. But Portia said he came here and she just drove him away. Portia! Yes, Daddy. Nerissa is in love with this village boy whom she always speaks about. I didn't like the idea. So when he came here three weeks ago and introduced himself as Igwe, I poured out on him. <laughs> and I even chased him away. I have looked for him everywhere in the city, but to no avail. I just hope that wherever he is, that God will protect him. Even if I never see him again. Chai! Mommy, you see him. Pussy up. You see him. What's that? Where are you? Yeah. Auntie. These people you came to visit in the city, do you want to go and check back on them again? Ah, no. I don't know my way there. Even if I know my way, I won't even go back there. The disgrace they gave me is enough to last me forever. For, for the rest of my life, in short. Come good deal. Do you think I'll be nice to you? You have been nice now. You have been nice, Auntie. At least, you, you know, you kept me in your house to be sleeping there. You have been giving me food. It's only my grandmother I'm worried about. She'll be thinking I'm dead by now. You know, if only you can just, you know, manage and give me my transport money back, then I'll thank you more. Igwe, the main reason why I've been delaying you here is because I began to like you. You are a good guy. And I want the best for you. I'm thinking of putting you in school. At least, you start from class one. Class one? At this age? Ah, no. Ah, mbao. Ah. It doesn't matter. Six years, you will be done. Four more years in the university. That is ten years. You are 24. You will be 34 when you finish. What is 10 years compared to a lifetime of bright future? It's not too long. That story you told me about getting married in the village, I don't agree. You're too young to be forced into marriage. Tomorrow, you will travel to the village and see your grandmother so she will know you're still alive. Then you will come back. I will write my address on a sheet of paper for you so that I can find your way while coming back. Oh, Auntie, okay. Auntie, thank you. Auntie, thank you. Auntie, Auntie thank you so much. Oh, God, God, we bless you. Thank you. Just make sure you finish washing this clothes. I'm going to wear it to the school tomorrow. Oh, all right, Auntie. I'll wash it well. I'll wash it, Auntie. I'll wash it. Eh? Sparkling white, Auntie. Thank you. Thank you. Auntie, you give me the money tomorrow, eh? Uh, and auntie, uh, the one you wore today to school, bring it, I'll wash it too. Eh? Yeah, you, <laughs> no, auntie, I'll wash it. Okay. Auntie, thank you. Hi. Thank you, Auntie. Do this thing. 
to me. Eh? I thought something has happened to you. Oh, Igwe, wow, I wow. thank God. I thank God you are still alive. Oh. I'm alive. Igwe, oh. I'm alive. I'm Where have you I'm been? Alive. Mama, it's a long story. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's a long story. Let's go. I've talked to him. I have showed him my broken heart and I have opened his eyes to the disgrace he is putting all of us to, especially to Ochuku. I have been quarreling with him, but still he insists on returning to the city to go to school. Uh, let him go. Let him go. Go! Am I begging you to marry my daughter? Of course no. She is a very beautiful girl. Our boy from Europe, America, they all just need to marry her. Even in her primary three, any big man can marry her. What manner of big man have I not entertained here in my house? Doctors, lawyers, big actors, all wanting to choose hand in marriage. But I refused. Go! My daughter is not in the bad market yet. And will never be. She will not have to select from the many suitors that are forging forward. Go! Ah uh ah! -uh. Okay. Let me not remember the many insults you put my daughter into. Nay, Andrew. Don't call me Nay. Um, Tochuku will find herself another husband. But I just have to go to the city. I'm sorry. Igwe. Igwe, I have cried for you. I have cried for you very, very much. I don't have tears to cry for you again, no. I don't have tears to cry for you again. It's alright. It's alright. Go to where your heart wants you to go. Just follow your heart. I will be your light. But just promise me something. That you're going to be your light too. I promise I'll be alright. I just have to go to the city. See, this village doesn't hold any future for me anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. Back. Yes, I'm back. I thought you were gone. When do I start school? Tomorrow morning. <coughs> come inside, come and eat. Good morning, too, right? Yes, uh, this is uh, this file belongs to um, Angel Communications. Uh, one of the companies bidding for the telecommunications contract. Uh, please send in their representative. Yes, sir.
afternoon. Please sit down. I'll be with you in a minute. All right, so Angel Communications. Yeah. Larissa? Yes. I'm married now. Yes, I'm married. I married um Julia, the secondary school teacher who helped me out. Mm -hmm. We fell in love along the line, you know, and together we have two kids. Our girl is four years old and our boy is two years old. Wow, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank <laughs> that's you. a very brilliant story. Thank you. Thank you very much. Story. Well, I am married to... Really? Mm -hmm. I got married to Casey, my boyfriend. Well, we broke up after I met you and um, we came back together after we realized what kind of man I wanted. A oh, calm and an old fashioned man like you. Uh, <laughs> but he's an engineer. Really? Oh, yeah. So, do you have kids? Oh, yes, I have a son. He's seven years old. Oh, Portia. She's also married to him. And she stays in the US. You don't see. Oh, Portia is in America. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I always knew that girl had this bite, you know? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. You know, something in me always told me that I was going to see you again. But what I can't figure out is why we did not end up together. You know what? I'll always regard you as the lady who saved my life. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I came to the city to look for you and I met my future. Believe you me, if I hadn't met you, I wouldn't have come to the city. I mean, look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. What about Tochuku? Any news from her? Ah, Tochuku. Tochuku married one of our village boys based in Germany. And my grandmother told me she has four kids now. Oh, your grandma. How is she these days? Ah, grandma, is, she's fine. She's, mm. she's old, but she's still strong. She lives with us in the city now. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's really nice. But you know what? I have plenty of time to spare today. So we'll just go out for lunch. Because we have a lot of catching up to do. You know what? We will do lunch at my place. Yes, I want to introduce you to my wife and my kids. Really? Yes. And she wouldn't get jealous? No, no, believe you me, she knows your story. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you tell her what is elevated? Yes, and I also told her what is sublime. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes, and now, right now, I don't have a <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just walked out of the door Girl, I don't live here anymore Girl, girl, I'm gone Feel alive, then arise, yell, arise. 